I'm live! Hi everyone! <laughs> it's Nell and I am here for a whip update! Welcome back to Little Yellow House Crafts. Thank you for joining me. It is June 13th today, Tuesday, June 13th, and it's been almost a month since my last update, so it's about time for one. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're all enjoying a lovely summer. Our summer's been really nice so far. Today is a little hot and muggy, but last week was just terrible, or excuse me, not terrible. Just, it says very bad connection. Eh, whatever. Last week was just gorgeous um, for us here in the Midwest. It was beautiful and sunny, but cool and not really very humid. Hi! Welcome, welcome! Um, so we've been having nice weather so far. We hope it holds out. Like I said, it's a little bit muggy today, but eh, that's summer in the Midwest, right? Um, life update. I know you're all dying to know, so let's just say it right now. I did not get the part in Beauty and the Beast. Meh. It was a very emotional weekend. <gasps> Sunny Island of Malta? Oh, take me, Audrey. Audrey, sorry, I didn't see your last name. Take me to Malta. <laughs> Anyway, so the audition went really, really well, and I got a callback, and I went to callbacks, and the callback went really, really well. Sorry, I'm getting rid of my shoes. Um, the callback went really, really well, and I left that audition feeling like, you know what, I think I've got the part. Not to be, you know, I don't want that to come off as conceited, but you know, when you've done theater for a long time, you get a fairly good idea um, from auditions about what the competition is like and, and how things are gonna go down. And so it was surprising when I did not get the part. It was surprising and very disappointing and sort of emotional. Not ashamed to say that I cried a little bit over this one. Um, it was a bit of a bummer and I think it was I mean, the girl that they ended up casting, she's gonna be great. I mean, she'll be a good Belle. I think I outperformed her at auditions, which is why it was disappointing. But you know what? That's life. That's the arts, <laughs> and particularly community theater. That's just the way things go. So disappointing, but life goes on. Um, the one positive note is that because I didn't get the part and I'm not doing the show, I won't have rehearsal in the evenings, which leaves more time for cross-stitching. So, gotta look for those silver linings. Oh man, so sorry. I know, thank you for saying that. It was a bummer. It was a bummer for me. It was particularly disappointing just because I felt like I should have gotten it. If all things were equal and fair, which they never are in the arts, but if they were, I probably would have gotten the part, guys. So meh. But that's okay. My One of my really good friends, Dane, was cast as the Beast, which was also a bummer that I don't get to play opposite him because we're good friends. But I'm excited to get to go see him. This is like a dream role for him too. So I'll be there supporting my friend as the Beast and it'll be great. Hello, we're ready for more stitching time. They will regret their decision. Thank you, McKenna. I love you. You know what? They probably won't. I mean, she'll be great. She'll be wonderful. But, you know, I wish it was me. <laughs> anyway, I did do some shopping therapy. I had to do a little retail therapy because I was feeling sorry for myself um, that weekend. And so I did buy some stitching stuff. You do what you gotta do. Other than that, life is pretty good. Um, we're enjoying our summer. Husband started fourth year yesterday. Uh, guys, he has one year left. This I know I said this last video, but I just it hasn't really sunk in, and I doubt it will until he actually graduates next May. But one year left, and we're gonna have an MD in this house. Crazy! So exciting. Um, that's all for life updates for right now. Let me check my notes. I have notes. You'll always be our bell. Thanks, Andrea. You're really sweet. Um, let's see life updates. That's it for life updates. I do have two other items to address right here at the beginning. The first one is that I'm about mm, two hours away from being done with my next batch of project bags. I know you guys were probably despairing that I was ever going to do any more. Guess what? 
the next batch is this close to being ready. After those are done, I need to press them and set them aside and then I need to finish the grime guard. So we're not looking to be releasing them this week, but I'm hoping in the next two, two and a half weeks to have those ready for an update, a bag posting, a bag sale. Woohoo! So there will be more details coming up on that one. Yay, I know. Gosh, it only took me five months longer than I anticipated. Whatever, that's life. Um, but there will be a video that will be posted ahead of time like I have done in the past where I'll introduce the release to you, not show you any of the bags because I like to keep that element of mystery, but I will announce the titles of the different prints that I will be releasing just to whet your appetite a little bit. Um, the other update that our other item of business, I guess, is um, my promised giveaway. A couple of videos back, I announced that I had reached 2,000 subscribers. I have surpassed that, but I did reach that momentous milestone, and I wanna just take this opportunity to thank you all for your love and your support, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, um, even those of you who give me thumbs down, thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs> Sorry it didn't fit your cup of tea, but thanks for watching. Um, so I am gonna do another giveaway because I hit 2,000 subscribers. And I've been agonizing over what was gonna go into this giveaway and so I've decided just to stop agonizing about it and just have the giveaway and then agonize over the extra stuff at the end. So this is how this giveaway is gonna work. Um, if you want to enter my giveaway, you need to be a subscriber. Uh, you know all of the typical things. You need to be 18 or older or have your parents' permission if you're not. Um, and this is what the giveaway is going to entail. It's going to include a $30 gift certificate to 123 Stitch where you can choose items of your own choosing. I, I love getting to pick stuff, so there is also going to be another aspect of the giveaway. So the first half is that it's going to be a $30 gift certificate to 123 Stitch. So you'll need to have an email address that I can send that gift certificate to. So that is one um, requirement for the giveaway. The other half of the giveaway though is gonna be a little package from me, just with some, it's not gonna be huge, it's gonna be some small things, maybe some fabric, maybe a pattern or two, maybe some threads, I don't know, some little stitchy gift from me to you, but that is gonna be um, sent to you in a separate package. So the gift certificate will come to you in your email, and then you'll get a little package from me. So you'll need to send me both your email address and your mailing address. I hope that makes sense. So that's what we're doing for our 2000 subscriber giveaway. Again, thank you all so much. How do you enter? This is how you enter. Down below in the comments, um, and if you are watching this video live, Sometimes the comments that are posted during a live video show up in the comments at the end. Sometimes they don't. So I want to make sure that you don't miss the opportunity. So if you are watching this live, wait to post your comment until this video is no longer live and is posted. I know that's annoying, but if you post a comment now while we're live, I'm not. Gonna, there's a chance I might not see it, and I don't want you to miss out. So what you're going to do is I want you to tell me what your favorite holiday is and why and the reason that that is the way you enter is because we are coming up on my favorite holiday of the year which here in the united states is independence day fourth of july that is my favorite holiday you guys know i'm a little bit of an american history buff um i love independence day always have it's just associated with happy memories from my childhood lots of family barbecues and pool parties and picnics and then fireworks at night and sparklers Hello from Vancouver Island, Canada. I have been to Vancouver Island and oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So you live in a beautiful place, <laughs> um, but you already know that. So yes, comment below with your favorite holiday and your reasons why. It doesn't have to be an American holiday. If you're from another country and you have a holiday that we don't celebrate here, I wanna know about it and why it's your favorite. Um, please don't mention giveaway or you know stuff like that in the comments again because we want to keep this to our stitchy circle. Um, sorry, it says very bad connection again. Oh, it's gone. YouTube lies. Um, so that's how you enter. 
It will close on July the 4th, on Independence Day at midnight. So from now you have about three weeks, I think a little over three weeks, to enter the giveaway. Um, just post your comment, be a subscriber, and all of those good things, and you can win a $30 gift certificate to 123Stitch and a small little package from myself to you as a thank you all for sticking with me for now two years. We just, I just today or yesterday, I think yesterday was my two year floss tube anniversary. I, I did my first video in June of 2015. So you guys have stuck around with me for two years and I'm so appreciative. So there you go, we're 10 minutes in, all the business is taken care of, let's talk about stitching. Sorry, there's a bird right outside my window. Hi birdie. We get lots of pretty birds here in the Midwest, it's fun. I have, as per the title of this video, an extremely exciting and important and special finish to show you all. I have a few finishes this month. Two of them are sort of like partial finishes, but I'm counting them as finishes. One of them is a full finish not fully finished it's not framed yet but all the stitching and stuff is done guys at long last started stitch mania 2016 so just over a year ago i have finished my blue bride mika my blue bride by lavender and lace um, before I show this to you, once again, if you're new to my channel, this is a pattern by Lavender and Lace called The Bride. I have nicknamed her The Blue Bride because I did my own color conversion on her. Rather than do her as a bride in white, I changed the colors of her dress to kind of sapphire blues. I did not stitch the veil accordingly because she's not a bride, but I did stitch everything else. Um, and I even, I did the um, the wreath around her, which I was dreading, and as I suspect, it was a pain in the butt to stitch, but it's done. So without further ado, here is Mika, the Blue Bride. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Oh, guys, I am so proud of this one. You're not probably gonna be able to see the beads. Sorry. There are beads in her dress. There you go, you can kind of see them beads in her dress and all along the back. They're all over in this area, but it's hard to tell. Um, she is named Mika after Darling Bluebell here on um, Floss Tube, a sweet sis stitchy sister from the Netherlands who loves everything blue. <gasps> Thank you, Rose. I'm really, really pleased with her. I love the color conversion. She's so rich and elegant and the sh the shading looks really good. Um, I was so nervous about this color conversion and it worked out great. Um, this wreath around her head is beautiful. I, she just has a really pretty face too. Even my husband, as I was finishing her face, he was like, oh, she's pretty. Like, I know, right? For a cross-stitch lady, she has a really pretty face. Um, She's just lovely. I'm so proud of her. I am going to have her framed. I am not gonna sew her into a wall hanging, um, which is what I would typically do to try and save on some money. I am gonna have her framed because she deserves some framing. She's beautiful. I do feel a little bit emotional about being done with her. I loved stitching her. She was a big, um, she was a lot of firsts for me. She was, my, excuse me, whew, she was my first like elegant lady. I've never done a Mirabilia or a Nora Corbett. She was my first lavender and lace. So this is my first like elegant lady I've ever done. I don't know that I'm gonna run out and do another one anytime soon. It's not that I didn't enjoy stitching her. It's just not really my, my style. I've never been tempted to stitch one of these, but I do admire every one I've seen. Exactly. That's how I feel. I think they're gorgeous and I love seeing everybody else's finishes. This was the first and only one that really I had to stitch her and I think it's because I wanted to do the color conversion and I'm so glad I did. But I don't know if I'll ever do another elegant lady, which is why she needs to be framed and put on my wall. And you better believe I'm keeping her because ugh, so much work and so beautiful. So there is Mika the Blue Bride. Took just over a year to stitch, started in Stitch Mania last year. Um, so. Finally done. Mika, your namesake is finished, and isn't she just beautiful? Just like you. Um, other finishes. I showed this to you last month as a start, and it is finished now. Um, my next cottage of the month 
from Country Cottage Needleworks. I finished February. And you can see I got a little tiny start there on March. But that is February's block. So we have January and February done. Again, I'm stitching this on a giant, it's folded in half right now, a giant fat half of um, 28 count flax linen, I believe, by Zweigart. Um, and January and February are done. So that February, I'm counting that as a small finish. I am also counting these next two as small finishes. These are my little sheep virtues. I got the next two done. So last time you saw this, I had the first two done, hope and love. And this past month, I finished peace and courage. So hope and love were done last month. I added peace and courage. Peace took forever. It's a small block, but there is a lot of stitching in peace. And look at how big the sheep is. That was a lot of ecru. I just started July's cottage today. Aren't they so fun? I love them. I'm excited to get to July. July is my birthday month. So July is like a special month. It has my favorite holiday, Independence Day. It has my birthday in it. July is just a good month. But anyway, so there is peace and courage little sheep virtues so I have one more to do on this top row one more will go right here and then we start going down so I'm almost done with I'm almost a third of the way done with this one more block so still really loving that stitching this on 32 count linen in the color dirty by Zweigart I wanted a linen that would really make the little white sheep pop I didn't want them to blend into the background so that is what I'm stitching that on. And that fits on a fat quarter, in case you're interested, with 32 count. I believe it would fit on a fat quarter with 28 count, but just double check that, because lengthwise it'd be fine, but widthwise it might be a little tight if you tried to do 28 count. So if you're planning on stitching these, measure. But on 32 count, it will fit on a fat quarter. So those are my finishes. Um, we'll count you know, those three that are like partial finishes, February and then hope and cur or peace and courage um, are like my three finishes, but the project's not done. And then I had Blue Bride. So I am still participating in Stitch from Stash. For Blue Bride, I am giving myself, this may be excessive, but I'm giving myself $50 for her. She was a huge project, over a year of work, beads, very, very dense, full coverage stitching on that dress took a lot of work so I'm giving myself 50 bucks because you know I get to choose <laughs> it's kind of arbitrary um for the February cottage of the month I'm just giving myself five bucks because it's not super heavy duty stitching there's a lot of stitching in the houses but they go pretty quick and with the sheet virtues those are smaller they go super fast four dollars each so eight dollars so that gives me by my reckoning sixty three dollars that I earned in um uh, finishes this month month which is good because I spent about that much I think slightly less than that um, when I was doing my retail therapy <laughs> about the loss of my bell roll um, I think the blueberry is totally worth $50 if not thank you crafty badger for agreeing with me I just she was so much work and I just yeah Let's talk about other whips. I didn't have any new starts this month besides like those little mini new starts, the blocks for um, Little Sheep Virtues. If you want to call those new starts, I had those, but no real new starts on any new projects uh, because this month is June, which is Wine and Whips in Stitch Mania, which just means that it's a month where you're supposed to pull out those things that make you whine. Either they're things that you struggle with or that you find challenging or that you just don't want to work on but you know you need to. This is the month that we pull those out and put in some work. So that's what I did. Um, these first few are not necessarily things that made me whine. They were just things I hadn't worked on in a long time and I wanted to make progress on. So first one, which I know some of you will be very excited to see, is my giant Harry Potter sampler. Uh, last time you saw this, I had done to about, I'm gonna try and fold this, to about here. I had those teachers, Dumbledore, Snape, I think that is supposed to be Slughorn, Professor Trelawney, Hagrid, Norbert, Mad-Eye Moody, and I think that's Professor Flitwick. I had done those, so I finished that row 
added the rest of those teachers. Ooh, there we go. So we have their um, Gilderoy Lockhart's on the bottom. I don't know who that is supposed to be above him. Next to Professor Trelawney's crystal ball. It's a teacher. Oh, I think it's Lupin because he has that little mustache. I think that must be Professor Lupin and Professor McGonagall and Professor Sprout, obviously, and she has a little mandrake. And then I did the Alohomora and I did the little border thing. And then I started the next row down, which we need to go over here. And I added Expelliarmus, I had Earmus, so I added the rest of that. And these two guys, um, a quill and some ink. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out what this is supposed to be. Someone who is doing this, please enlighten me. What is this little red and white and like tan thing? Because to me, it looks like a bustier. <laughs> it looks like a corset. What the heck is that? I'm thinking it might be like keepers pads for Quidditch. Like maybe like the chest pad that the keeper wears. I cannot, I have no idea. Someone tell me what this is, but anyway. And then I did the little feet and this is either Fred or George and it says, I solemnly swear. So I've started the next row. So got a good portion done there on my giant Harry Potter sampler. You can see with the fold, eh, that is halfway through my fabric. When I fold my fabric in half, that's the halfway point. But this project will not reach all the way down to the bottom of my fabric. So I'm over halfway done with this guy now. But put in some good work on giant Harry Potter. And yes, please someone tell me what that darn red thing is because it's driving me crazy. I stitched it because it's in the pattern. It's a howler. Oh, wait, now I have to look. It's the screaming letter. Howler, howler, let me look. Okay, I can kind of see that, but why does it have like these little, what look to me like red breasts on the top? Is that just like the envelope? Is it, cause it opens its mouth like in the movie? I think I need to go watch that movie again. Maybe it, that's the letter open and that's like its little tongue. Oh, okay, I kind of see it now. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lynn Cullen. You saved my life. Oh my gosh, it's a howler. It looks like something I would wear. I refrained from saying that, McKenna, but I totally thought that. It looks like a bustier, doesn't it? Yeah, it's meant to look like a mouth. <laughs> this is why um, YouTube Live is my favorite way to do this, because I can talk to you guys. Oh my gosh, it's a howler. Okay. Yay! Thank you guys for your help. Oh. Now we know the mystery is solved. Thanks guys. I seriously, I could not. It's like, all I see is a red corset or swimsuit or something with breasts. <laughs> it's a howler. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, first whip. Um, second one that I put some more work in is the country store from Told in a Garden. This is another piece that I started for Stitch Mania last year, 2016, and I got just a few shelves done, and so I have filled in quite a bit more. I've added um, two more shelves, a little bit of the top stuff, and then filled in some more of the sales lady and the cash register. So there you go. Last time you saw it, all we had was her head and these little drawer boxes here, and then like this, this shelf, ugh, this shelf with the fabric, and a little bit of this one. So I finished this one, added this guy, added all these like checked things for the top border, and then I filled in this lady in the cash register. So that's um, the country store. Still loving this one, really bright and colorful and vibrant. However, if you don't like confetti stitching, this isn't true confetti stitching because it's not a full coverage piece. However, the amount of color changes in this is a little absurd, okay? So just so you know, see these three little jars, okay? Those three little jars, there are 10 colors in those three little jars. And there's a total of probably 30, yeah, there's 30 stitches, yeah. 30 stitches in those three jars and there are 10 colors. So if you are not a fan of changing colors every five stitches, 
just know that this project is going to be a pain. Um, I, I like stitching it. I don't mind. I don't love confetti stitching. This, I think, I don't mind so much because it's so bright and colorful and vibrant that I enjoy it, but there are a lot of color changes in this. Um, at least so far. Giant Harry Potter. Look at Howler in the same way again. I know. I've ruined it for all of us. I'm sorry. <sighs> anyway, so there's the country store by Told in a Garden. Stitching this on, um, I believe this is a 32 count Lugana. Yeah, 32 count Lugana in new khaki, I believe. Hi, Darla! Um, so that is the country store. Worked on that one some more. This is the one I haven't worked on in a long time and I got reminded of how much I like it when I pulled, did my little whip parade last video. That's why I do those, or that's why I did that. Um, I worked more on Save the Stitches, my black work piece. So last time you saw this, I had the first four blocks done and I finished block five, which is this one. And I started block six, which is this one, which I have done this little guy and I've started the fill pattern on this one. So finished block five and started block six. That is, let me get back here, there we go. That is Save the Stitches by Liz Almond. Um, it's a free pattern. I think most people know about it. Um, if you don't, then go search for Liz Almond she is a black work um, lady and she has this as a free pattern on her website. It's giant and huge. It's 24 blocks and this is only five blocks and a little bit of six. So it's on another giant fat half um, and it's going to be long. This is stitched on third or excuse me 28 count cream Lugana and I am stitching it as originally charted in black with um, the metallics that she suggested, the gold, silver, and copper. However, instead of using DMC light effects, I'm using Krennic. So you can see there the gold and copper and silver uh, metallic. So that is Save the Stitches. Really pleased with that. Was reminded again that I do really enjoy black work, which is hilarious because you all know I can't stand backstitching. But black work doesn't feel like backstitch backstitching because you're making pictures um, with the with black work rather than just like filling in detail. I think that's why I don't like back stitching. I don't know. I want to see more picture and it doesn't feel like I'm making more picture. I'm just filling in details. I don't know. But speaking of back stitching, you are all going to be so proud of me and I am so proud of myself. I buckled down and gripped my teeth and I worked on my winter sampler by Janlin. This guy and I did some back stitching. Last video, there were several of you who suggested that I do it in small chunks because if you remember correctly, I have the top half of this piece totally done with the cross stitching. I have not finished the bottom half, but before I moved down to the bottom half, I wanted, because I know how much I dislike back stitching, to do all the back stitching for the top half so that when I finish the whole project, it doesn't feel so momentous to try and do all that back stitching. However, it was keeping me from working on it because I did not want to backstitch the top half. And so a lot of you were really encouraging and told me just do it in small chunks. This is probably a bigger chunk than you meant. And by the time I finished this chunk, I was done and I'm ready to put it away for a while again. But I did get all the backstitching done for the top left portion. So you can see, uh, sorry. Okay. About here is where the backstitching ends. Okay, so from here over, I have not backstitched. But all of this, this big banner with the numbers, Happy New Year, and I did this year's um, date, and these little mice, three little mice, and a clock, and this big ribbon, and all of this like black work almost in the background. Thank you, Darla. Um, the mittens and stuff. So there was a lot of backstitching in this tiny little portion and I told my husband I probably worked on this for like four or five nights completely just working on this each session two to three hours of stitching and it took probably four nights I think to finish all that back stitching and I told my husband on the one hand I'm really glad that's done oh thank you Sheila <laughs> I know it's a beautiful piece I just the back stitching 
Um, it was a little discouraging to spend all that time and finish this section and then to pull it off the Q-snap and realize that's maybe like an eighth of the whole project that will still need to be backstitched. One eighth of it is done. <laughs> but it's done and I'm really proud of myself. So I'm gonna put that one away. I'm gonna try not to wait another three and a half years to pull this out and work some more on it because my next goal will be to backstitch this big center portion, which actually won't be as bad. Um, it doesn't have as much of this fill-in stuff as this side, so I do think this will take about the same amount of time even though it's bigger. Um, backstitch as you go. That's right, Rose, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get myself all caught up with the backstitching in the top half before I go down, and then I will backstitch as I go. But I think the very first time I showed this to you guys, a um, year and a half ago, two years ago, I mentioned that at the time that I started this, I didn't know about the backstitch as you go thing. I was just, I was a self-taught cross-stitcher, and I was following the instructions in the kit, which says to complete all the cross stitching first and then go back into your back stitching. And so me being a very obedient student, that's what I was doing. And I just dislike back stitching so much that it's better for me to back stitch as I go. So now I am trying to go back and get this all back stitched before I move on with the cross stitching because then I think I'll actually want to work on it. It won't feel so overwhelming. So anyway, I'm very proud of myself. Got that back stitched. So that was definitely my wine and whips. Um, yeah, several of those things were things I hadn't worked on in a long time. So that was kind of my wine and whips. And I guess I'm, it's still June. It still is wine and whips, but I'm going to go ahead and put probably um, all of those away and pull out other things that I haven't worked on in a while for the remainder of June, for the remainder of wine and whips. So those are my whips. That was my whip update. 20 minutes later. Um, those are my finishes, my whips. I don't have anything else to show you that I've worked on this month. I do have a small amount of haul um, because as mentioned before, I did a little retail therapy when I did not get the part and was very emotional that weekend. And that's okay. I had a big budget from finishes this month. Again, guys, I've been doing good with finishes this year. Um, so let me show you what I got. First thing first is I bought the buttons that I needed for my little sheep virtues. And they're in this bag. I got them from 123 Stitch along with two skeins of Weeks Dye Works Scupper Nong, which I need for um, the center part of that project, which is Country Cottage Needleworks Sheep in the Meadow. I needed the Scupper Nong for the grass. And can someone please enlighten me what Scupper Nong is? Is that like, it sounds like an Australian slang word. It sounds like something that Dinky Dyes would name one of their silks. Cause you know how Dinky Dyes, it's an Australian company and they will name their silk colors with like Australian words, Australian slang or Australian landmarks or whatever. And so it's very Aussie. Like the word, the, the, the names they give their flosses are very, very Aussie. And I, Scuppernong feels like that. I don't know why. I've never heard that word before. I don't know what that is. So someone needs to tell me because I feel dumb not knowing what it is. But anyway, I got 11 of the 12 buttons. They were out of stock on one of the buttons um, from just another, isn't it a fruit? Oh, maybe it's a fruit. Darla thinks it's a fruit. Does anyone corroborate that? I don't know. Um, they were missing Courage, but it has since come back into stock and I did go ahead and order it, which I'll talk about in a second. But I got the first 11. So we have Joyfulness, which is like two little snowflakes. We have, it's a grape. Oh, it's a, there you go. It's a type of grape. Um, we have Friendship, which is a little bird, which is upside down, but it's a bird. We have Kindness, which are two little crows, two little blackbirds. Looks like a mommy and a baby. <laughs> um, these are not in order, but Gratitude, which is obviously November, and it's a leaf, a maple leaf. Um, patience is just a little blue heart. Peace is another little bird. Faith is two little white cream stars. Wisdom is an apple. It's upside down, but it's an apple. Love is like a little white rose. Oh, you can't see. It has really pretty veining in it. There you can kind of see. A little creamy white rose with some leaves. 
Um, hope, which is January, or no. Yeah, hope is January, is a state fruit of North Carolina. Huh. Learn something new every day. Thank you, Sheila. Um, it's a poinsettia or poinsettia, depending on where you're from. I say poinsettia. Hope. And then simplicity, two little bumblebees. They're really cute. And then the one that they were missing, courage, that's on its way to me, has two little purple flowers. So got my buttons from Just Another Button Company for my Sheep Virtues so that when it's all done being stitched, I can add the buttons. And I got my Scuppernong Weeks Dye Works, apparently the state fruit of North Carolina, which is a grape. <laughs> what would I do without you guys? Then, excuse me, the other um, things I bought were a combination of stash unload items and... Um, one, two, three stitch. So these first ones I'm going to show you were from Stash Unload. And I kitted these up with fabric for my stash. So I'll show you that in a minute. But the first one, this I got on Stash Unload. This is Little House Needleworks, um, which was a 2008 special release Heart of America. I saw this years ago in a, um, in a LNS and wanted to buy it, but it was expensive because it came as a chart pack. It came with all of the crescent colors or classic color works threads and the buttons. It has just another button company buttons. And so it was fairly expensive. I think when I saw it, it was probably like 40 bucks. And I just was like, oh, I can't, I can't do it. But someone was selling it on Stash Unload for quite a bit less than that. Um, in the chart pack. I think she's had it for a couple of years because it's a little bit wrinkled and she's probably had it since it came out and just never stitched it and decided to go ahead and sell it. And so when she sold it to me, it came with all of the, the colors of thread, all the crescent colors, which I have since already put into my crescent or my, um, my over dyed threads collection. So I can't show them to you, but it came with all of them. And it also came with all of the Jabco buttons. Is Stash Unload a website? It's on Facebook. It is a group on Facebook. If you search Stash Unload Cross Stitch, you'll find it because there are other stash websites for other types of crafts and things, but it is a group on Facebook. Um, you're welcome. And there's the little Jabco buttons. So there's like another blackbird and then there's three black stars, an acorn and a sheep. And that sheep is so cute. So that is Heart of America. It says liberty, land of the free. It says peace, old glory, freedom, honor, and then year, 2008. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna change the date. I probably will. I will probably change it to the year that I stitched that. And I went ahead and kitted that up with fabric from my stash. And this is actually fabric that I stole from an old project. I told you last time that I decided to retire um, the rose garden as a whip, that I wasn't gonna work on it. So I went ahead and stole the linen from that one. And I'm gonna do this on that. And this is 32 count Belfast linen in summer khaki, which is like my go-to standard fabric. So that's like almost exactly the fabric that they stitched that on. Um, they stitched it on Creek bed brown linen from r, &R Reproductions. This looks pretty darn close to me, summer khaki. So that was the first thing I bought. And then the next thing I have the first two to show you. The third one, the person on Stash and Low did not have and was not selling, so I ordered it from 123Stitch. And that was by Little House Needleworks, Land of the Free, and Home of the Brave. Okay, and there's a third one called Long May She Wave that I ordered from 123Stitch. And these also came as chart packs, also came with the threads. Each of them came with four, yeah, four classic color works threads um, and they, so they were chart packs and I got them for a pretty good deal on stash and load and then I just bought the third one like I said um, again Americana I'm not hard to predict guys on what I like and I went ahead and kitted this one up with a fabric for my stash this is 30 count Murano which is Lugana <laughs> um, in 30 count, which is a count we don't really see so much anymore, but this is an older package, in the color cream. This comes from my big Zygarde 
fabric haul. Um, and these will all fit. I'm going to do them on one. One, two, three. Land of the free, home of the brave, long may she wave. Similar to how Vanna did it. Vanna Pfeiffer at um, the Twisted Stitcher. So you can go to her channel and see. She did these all on one as well. She changed the colors. I'm probably going to keep the colors as charted. But they will all go on one piece on this cream Murano. So that was my haul. I also bought... Um, a couple pieces of fabric on Stash and Load, but they haven't arrived yet, so I don't want to um, waste your time with that. I can show you those later. Um, that's all I have. Check my things. Oh, one more thing. Exciting announcement. Um, my mom and my sisters, there are six kids in my family. I am the oldest, and of those six, four of us are girls. And so my mom and my three sisters and I have decided to start doing an annual girls trip with just the five of us, um, leaving behind dad and the boys and the husbands and the small children and having a nice little vacation with just the girls. And so this year is our, the first one we're doing and I put myself in charge of it because I really wanted it to happen. And we are going to Vegas in August. My mom and my sisters and I are all going to Vegas. And we're going, I'm going for four days. I think some of my sisters are coming a day or two after I get there because of work and stuff. But I think my mom and my one youngest sister will also be there all four days. And we are going to stay at Mandalay Bay and lay out by the pool all day for four days. <laughs> That's all we're doing. I mean, we're not really making any big plans. We'll probably shop. We'll probably go see a show and lay by a pool for four days in Las Vegas. And it's going to be amazing. Um, but because I'm going to Vegas, I'm going to try and swing by Stitcher's Paradise. Yes, exactly, McKenna. I'm going to go. I have never been to Stitcher's Paradise. I've been to Vegas many, many times. But I have never been to Stitcher's Paradise. And so when I get there, before my um, mom and my sisters arrive, I'm going to head over to Stitcher's Paradise and spend some time shopping. I'm going to do some cross-stitching shopping. So I am going to be trying to save my stitching pennies. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I should come crash the family party. Guys. The more the merrier. You want to come and find me at Mandalay Bay and lay by the pool with me for four days? I would love to have you. And I was going to say, if any of you are in the Vegas area or happen to be down there in August, um, come meet me at Stitcher's Paradise. I would love to make like a big cross stitchers reunion not that we've ever met in person but you know what i mean at stitchers paradise so i will let you know more of the details it's going to be the week of the 20 the 20th of, of august i think we check in wednesday the 23rd and we check out sunday the 27th i think that sounds right in my head so we'll be there for those four days so i don't know yet when i'm going to stitchers paradise it will probably be wednesday the first day i get there um but I'm going to Vegas and I'm going to go to Stitcher's Paradise. So it's a long way from England. I know, right? It's a long way from me too right now, but I'm going to be in Vegas anyway. So that's exciting. And I'm going to be saving up my stitching pennies so that I can shop when I'm there. It's going to be super fun. I think that's all. That's everything I have on my list of notes. So don't forget to enter my giveaway down below. And um, after this video is done and uploaded, comment with your favorite holiday and why it's your favorite and you will be entered for my giveaway, which will include that $30 gift certificate to 123 one, Stitch and a small little package from me. Um, and I think that's it. You guys are great. I love you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and talking stitching. Um, I hope you guys have a great stitchy week and I'll talk to you really soon. Okay. Bye. And finish live video. Ooh. Are you sure you want to? Yes.